I definitely bought these two because Kurt Cobain used them when I was really young. I, th I must have got these when I was like 13 or 14 or something. But um, that was the sound of the heart-shaped box solo and that was his guitar sound on a Neutero. Like everyone goes through that stage when you're teenagers, you know, you either get into like Soundgarden or Nirvana or whatever, or Guns N' Roses. I'm Trent Williams, I'm one-fifth of the band Beat Coma. Um, we're a crazy, noisy, psychedelic, super delayed, saturated, gear oriented um, band from Wellington. Yeah, kind of got our shit together and started playing a lot of house parties, it's great. It's a good time to be a musician in Wellington. I went to Japan uh, in 2000, the end of 2013, uh, yeah that's right, um, for a couple of weeks. But they have so many guitar stores there. They have this one street in the middle of Tokyo which is just like maybe 60 guitar stores, music shops, I mean like they've got crazy keyboards and there's everything there you could possibly imagine and it's really cheap. I found this one, it was 500 New Zealand dollars, um, but it was originally a duo Sonic, so it had a duo Sonic body and a Mustang neck. Um, it's, so it's kind of a mongrel. It's not super original, but everything on it is original. It's from uh, it's a 1967. This guy I made, I built because for a while I was really into it, um, but it's kind of falling apart at the moment. Um, half and half uh, old school electro harmonics, or like the did box design anyway, and half um, Moog. You know those pedals yeah. that they do. That's what I was going for. But it's modeled off a big muff. It's just modified a little bit, but it's. Um, it's really grunty, it's gated as well, so it's cool. It's my main stomp box. Uh, I've had a lot of pedals in my time. I've essentialized it for sure. Um, bit of delay, because you can never have too, many, too much delay. The Sans Amp is my sound. Um, without it, I just wouldn't have that guitar sound, eh? Um, super clean. It's um, like an amp emulator. So you can have like a, a, it's like a Mesa Boogie, a Twin Reverb, or a Marshall Lead. That's what it's supposed to emulate. Yeah, so you can have a real shitty amp and then make it sound like a decent amp just with this guy. Yeah, I was yeah. so um, into surf music for a long time when I started writing music, um, and that's what I kind of model all my gear off. Just that sound, that overly saturated sound. <laughs> Thank you.